I'm going to go ahead and really quick, I only have a few minutes left, do the drainage side. So real quick, let's do the drainage side. And I'll edit that just to show you. So I'm just doing the culverts and the end walls. But you can create wear clauses. So again, if you had a bunch of stuff and you wanted to say, okay, well, I, I'm going to, I can only assign, you know, one feature definition. So this, maybe I, would, I want to limit my 12 inch. So I can do a wear clause where, you know, diameter equals 12. And so it's only going to do those items. So you can, you can actually filter things out and then, you know, do step through there as well. And I just want to show you the mapping one time. So here, as I scroll over to the mapping section, culverts have a start and stop node. They're a conduit. And walls have, you know, an X and Y location. Again, if I didn't want something, for example, say set that to none. So no rotation. Um, you have a preview button as well. You can help you map as you're doing it. Step back from that. And then now, one thing I'll, I created in this file was I created a um, feature definition called stormwater existing. So that's what I'm mapping all these pipes to. So say next, I'm actually going to um, create a snapshot. So we'll see that in a second, what that does. And then go ahead and say yes. You can create a selection set if you want here. And I'll show you what that is in a second. Go ahead and sync that. And close. And close that and say yes so it's going to create those um, pipes and head walls and let me zoom in there's a set of pipes there and 2d view let me show you zoom tight on this one you can see so that the nodes came in you know they're not rotated correctly because the the cell itself again the feature definition has a cell associated and that cell was created to to by default come in so there's, there was no nothing that told it how to rotate it, so it's just using default. So if I go back into MonoBuilder, and I had the rotation, actually. So let's just go, let me get quickly back to that. And that was the end wall. We added a, a while back, I know you, a lot of people set their nodes based on alignment and rotation based on a center line or, or, or a curb line or a flow line. And so we can track that. So you have absolute rotation. That's the rotation in the view, and then there's node rotation. So if I scroll down the list, the node rotation, somewhat off subject, but I wanted to get it, squeeze it in there, is that if you export your data, which is part of what Model Boulder does, we can export out data from our drainage and utilities. If you export out node rotation, that's the rotation re relative to whatever element you rotated it based on when you placed it. So bring that in. And then I just wanna, um, since I used a snapshot before, we can see what changed. So brings up a little list here, and the end walls have changed, and it shows you um, in red what they are. So you can always kind of track what changed from the source to the database and the DGN. And then finally, we'll just go ahead and finish. Close that. Now, if I make changes in the DGN, um, here's a good one. I mean, last thing, and, uh, I'm going to grab um, this node. Let's say they gave me the wrong survey location. We got new location. I came in here and moved it. We'll move the other edge as well. Then model builder is where I could go. And I can go to model builder and oh, sync out. And it's updated. So I synced out to my spreadsheet and open it back up. These, um, these two guys have changed. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.